Should you buy the spooky scenery? The spooky scenery is one giant island surrounded by a bunch of smaller islands that are all floating around it. There's also a lot of islands below it and above it, which makes this scenery one of the most three-dimensional sceneries we've ever had. In other sceneries, we've had things floating above the scenery, but we've never really had a bunch of things floating down below the scenery that we could see. Around the one giant island, on almost every one of the smaller islands, there's a little house which represents one or two of the troops. For example, this one is the Pekka. This one over here is both the Barbarian and the Archer's house. This one right here is a Goblin's house. You can see that purple house is the bottom, which is actually, I think it's the Bowler's house. This house right here, the only troop I could think of this representing is the Hog Rider. We've got the Golem right here. We've got the Witch. We've got the Valkyrie. Over here, this is not 100% confirmed, but my best guess is that this is the Ice Golem's house. Up here, we have a little volcano, which I think is supposed to be the Lava Hound's house. But then up at the top, we've got the Skeleton's house. We This house is actually a mystery. I can't figure out what this is. At first I thought this was the golem's house, but we have the golem's house right at the bottom. So I'm not sure what this is. Let me know down in a comment if you know what this house is. I think that's it for all the houses. There are a lot of smaller islands like this one in the foreground and a bunch of other tiny islands connected to the main island do not have any houses on them, but they're all contributing to this 3D feel of the spooky scenery. The spooky scenery does have custom background music. It is the same as the pumpkin graveyard scenery music Music, but I still think it's great that they did put custom music on it. The scenery does have custom tiles. I believe these are the same exact ones as the pumpkin graveyard scenery, but I don't think this takes away from the scenery at all. They didn't really have many other choices for tiles to go on this theme scenery, so I think it's great. They do have custom boats. The custom boat to get to the builder base is kind of a skeleton ship. For the master builder's boat, there's a dead wizard that's paddling his floating boat, and you can see there's one dead, dead wizard there, and there's another dead wizard down here, which are the two that are the icon for the spooky scenery. Unfortunately, the airship to get to the clan capital and the forge have not changed at all. I love the concept of this scenery, the three-dimensional feel and all the islands that are detached from the main island. I love the color scheme of this scenery and pretty much everything about it. I'm usually not a huge fan of like Halloween themed things, but I do really, really like this scenery. I also love the Easter egg houses and how each house represents a troop, although some of them are not very clear, but I love that they added these pretty obvious Easter eggs. But unlike the pumpkin graveyard scenery, there's a little bit more exploring you can do in this scenery, trying to figure out what all these things represent. It's really fun and I'm so glad that they added all these houses. I also like how this scenery is a dim scenery and it's almost night mode. I don't think they adjusted the lighting on the buildings. They may have, but it's very easy on the eyes, which I love because I love anything that's night mode or dark mode. There aren't many things that I dislike about this scenery. One little nitpicky thing is that the forge is usually right over here next to the airship, but they moved it all the way over here to be floating on top of the island instead of just in mid air. But the problem is that most of the time when there's capital gold ready for me to collect, I don't see it right away because it's so far over here. It just doesn't catch my eye as easily. And a lot of times I'm wasting time and just letting it sit there when I could collect it and start some more capital gold. One other thing that's pretty nitpicky, but when you look at this scenery from a distance, like if I hold my phone far away, it kind of looks strange just because of the contrast between the really light green, which is like the fog surrounding the islands, and then the islands themselves, which are really dark. It, something about it just looks strange. And if you would look at it from a distance, having never seen the scenery before, you wouldn't know what it was. So that's again, just a nitpicky thing. And once you know what the scenery looks like, and if you can get close up and look at it, it looks totally fine. So I'm gonna put this scenery in the S tier, such an amazing scenery. So there's my breakdown. Now the decision is up to you.